cold this morning. Letting the van warm up a little bit before I take off. 34 degrees here in Texas. Got my hot coffee. <laughs> Getting up early to go ride with the, the usual crew and up in near Denton. Spot I've been riding since 2009. So this video, I wanted to kind of cover a couple things that I do when I go ride nowadays. Um, the, the days of, of being a pro racer are way behind me. I got two kiddos and purely just ride for fun now, even though I still race from time to time. Um, it's not so much about not doing national enduros, trying to chase a full series or anything, but I do still like feeling sharp on the motorcycle. I just wanted to touch on maximizing the time you spend when you do get to go ride. I know a lot of people out there are weekend warriors, working nine to five, um, and trying to also improve on the motorcycle at that same time. And so for me, every time I go ride, uh, I always have a objective in mind of what I'm gonna do, whether it's going and working on corner drills, uh, or like this morning, I'll probably do two 30 minute motos. For me, that's a pretty good, uh, way to have some intensity work but also get it's long enough that your body you've got to have stamina and so if you've never done 30 minute motos before maybe start out at 15 and work your way up like one week do 15 minute motos and the next week do 20s and then build up to 30s and see but for for me and for my body 230s is, is pretty good and about the limit if I'm at the motocross track I'll do two thirties and then, you know, if my back starts getting tight, then I'll call it a day. But a lot of times this for me, the two thirties is a great way to get, um, a really good workout on the motorcycle. And then if I were only, if I were just focused on racing, uh, the Enduros I'd probably do some 10 minute sprints in there, maybe 15 minute sprints or even just one lap sprints where I'm going as hard as I can go, you know, 110%. Uh, trying to push the pace and minimize mistakes uh, to get some really high intensity efforts in as far as that goes. But um, what I like about the 30 minute motos, especially at this place, the loop's fairly short, it's around four minutes long. You get a lot of reps on the corners so you can practice. Uh, if you miss a corner, if you make a mistake, it doesn't take too long to get back around to that same spot. So that's what I like about the 230s. And there's also some really good sections of this drill or of this track that it's it's a, basically a rut track and a field in spots, so you get really good corner practice. And then there's days where if I if I feel really kind of dull on the bike, like out of practice, I'll just go and do corner drills uh, just to get kind of back in the swing of things. I get so much low intensity riding when I do the gnarly roots tours that when I'm at home and I have the chance to go ride I try to ride hard um, just to maintain what bike fitness I still have and try to maintain what speed I still have on the bike so um, just wanted to briefly update that and just encourage you to to maximize the time when you get to go ride if all you're worried about is having fun with your friends, then that's great. That's uh, one of the most awesome things about riding, and I'm I'm going to have fun with my friends this morning too. But definitely try to uh, find something to work on or improve on, or work that'll help your fitness when you do get to go ride. Whether that's doing setting up a little trials course to practice balancing skills on your bike. Um, if you're not very good at left-handed corners, go out and set up a left-hand corner drill to practice to get some reps and get more comfortable and that'll help you progress. So I'm gonna go out, get some good seat time this morning, ride with my buddies, and hope you all have a good weekend.